Arguably the most recognizable hole in desert golf is hole number three on True North's Monument Course. Easily the most photographed hole in the Southwest, number three, the Monument, is a par five that had to be built around a 25-foot boulder that designer Tom Weisskopf couldn't rummage up enough dynamite to remove. Today, breaking par is taking one of the most famous obstacles in golf and making it our target. We're bringing out professional golfer Blair O'Neill to bomb the boulder. This course, it's one of the courses that when people come into town and they ask me what golf courses should I play, this is always one of the top courses I see. Welcome to True North. Breaking par. All right, Blair. Tell me what you've heard so far about what we're doing today. So I have heard that we're going to play number three monument course, and there's a huge boulder in the middle of the fairway. And today my goal is going to be to hit it. I've played number three before, but never planning to hit that boulder. I always go just to the right of it with a little fade and that's kind of the perfect place that you want to be. Today I knew my goal was going to be different. It was going to be to hit the boulder. And I wasn't really sure what to expect. It'll be interesting to see what my yardage is going to be yeah. to get the job done. Ready? I'm ready. We're bombing the boulder. Feeling to True North with Fox Sports. I'm snapping you. <laughs> I think it's only fair she gets a chance to ins inspect the boulder a little See bit. See it here. up close. Yes. Guys, she has to be strategic because if she hits the boulder, we're letting her pick two shots to see if she can birdie the hole. The first thing we did is we went out, drove out to the boulder to take a good look at it, get a lay of the land. And actually, when you get up close to the boulder, it's not as big as you think. From the tee box, it looks massive. And then once you get down there and you look at it, you're like, oh, this isn't, it's not really that big. So. The target was a little bit smaller than I expected. We're good. I think it's time to get this party started. Out here at True North, and have to watch it to see how I played number three month. It's 247, You're playing 231. So I think I'm going to start with my five wood. I started with a five wood and it was coming up a little bit short. Close. Go on the ball. Hit the ball. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That enough. It was harder than I thought. And then I switched to a three wood and I had to take a few to get dialed in and I was maybe just short, just right, just left. But then I finally hit it and it was like sweet victory. Go. Draw. Draw. It was just a dead straight shot. It took one hop into the boulder and then bounced back and it just rolled into the fairway. I was a little worried that if I hit it on the fly, who knows where my ball would go. So I was happy with that. Oh yeah. And then we moved to the second spot and I was 206 and I hit a four iron. Hit it. Hit the boulder, bounced a little left. The first try. The third one hit the top of Do the it. boulder, bounced way left. That's good. I did it. And then the fourth one hit the right side of the boulder. This is number four. Hit it. Oh! Alonzo, did she hit it? Yes, she did, and then it went bounced to the right a little. That was intense, guys. That was intense. <laughs> so I was allowed to pick two of the four balls. I've got options. I like it. 
I picked my first one because that was the one I hit with the three wood, and I had to pick that one because it was a great shot. Can we hit the little baby fade here? Fade, baby. I think I'm gonna go with the far left one because I have a completely different angle. So that's the one that hit the top of the boulder and it kicked way left and it'll just be straight away. So I hit my three wood, had a little bit of a downhill lie, but I just needed to hit a straight shot down the middle. I did exactly that, right down the middle. With the name of the show being breaking par, I mean, that's the ultimate goal here. I really wanted to break par with at least one of the balls. Be good. It was a little long. Not bad for your first wedge of the day. My second chip, which was from my three wood shot, it was a little lob, had it hit a 60 degree. I kind of had to lob it up there and just let it trickle down to the hole. Oh, be good. Go, go. Nice shot. I got a good birdie cut there, I'll take it. All right, we'll start with my away ball. Move. Oh. All right, I'll take par. I'll take par from the boulder. Now here comes birdie. It's pretty straight to me. Yes! From the boulder. From the she boulder. She breaks par. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't think I would suggest anyone trying to hit the boulder, but if you do, then they know that it can be done, they can make a birdie. Blair O'Neill just birdied one of the most famous holes in Scottsdale off the boulder. It was fun. I made a par, I made a birdie, I broke par, all is good. The Breaking Par crew loves hearing from our fans, and we want to put you on our show. Do you have an amazing golf shot caught on camera? Do you have a ridiculous trick shot that you want the world to see? Or maybe you just filmed a hilarious moment in golf. Send video submissions to fans at breakingpar.net for a chance to be featured on our next show. Or hit us up on Instagram at breakingpartv. What's the passion inside of you that's kept you going on, you know, that's the that drive? I mean, I love golf. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's the only sport that I know of that, you know, you can play competitively from the time you're a kid till you die. You got the guy that makes the shaft, the guy that invents every part of the shaft out here with us. I mean, this is kind of cool right here. I mean, come on, let's be honest. Be out here and watch the man work in the field. How many people get to see that? Hi, I'm Kim Braley. I'm the uh, director of research and development and the tour for uh, KBS Shafts. Good shot. Very nice. Tell me what KBS is right now. We are a company that make golf shafts that are designed specifically to optimize what you're able to do. A pure shot's a pure shot. You know, if you hit it on a button, it's gonna go good. The where we can help you is the ones that are not quite pure. And it's that extra two or three yards that it didn't go right, that extra two or three yards it didn't go left, that uh, can make all the difference. That might go in. Go in. Oh. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. You made it, I think. What is so special about this FLT shaft? Right? FLT shaft, the long irons go higher and the short irons go a little bit lower. So it's a good shaft for a large percentage of the population. That's crazy, you guys can do all that with a shaft. Kim Braley can tell you more about the golf shaft than quite possibly anyone else in the world. To everyone on our crew, he quickly became referred to as the mad scientist. Throughout his career, Kim has made significant contributions to the golf industry and continues to do so but it all started with his dad. My father uh, is the one that got me into this. My dad invented frequency match and he told me to go and figure it out. I had to go and learn, I had to learn about it. So what we did in those days is we went to the library. I went to study golf shafts and the only thing they had was wood. They didn't have anything about steel, nothing. So I ended up studying things like ship mast, flag poles were fantastic. I was like, ship mast, flag poles, Kim eventually graduated from flagpole research in the library to testing his theories out on tour with the best golfers in the world. We were the first van on tour. 
we were doing research. We were trying to figure out what the correct increments to make the shafts in terms of stiffness, you know, getting to know some of the fellows and everything. And these guys are lined up. Well, I'm talking about Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas. I'm, the, you know, the best of the best. Were, I mean, we had... How old are you at this time? I'm 23 or 4. You're 23, 24-year-old just cruising around on tour. Yeah. <laughs> with, with the best golfers in the world. Yeah, well, one of the first times uh, my dad asked me to go give a club to Arnold. So I took a club up to him, and I handed it to him. And he looked at it, and he took it, and he just whammed the shit out of it. And the next thing I know, he look at, he, and I'm like, going, what's going on? He says, oh, that's, that's perfect, that's perfect. And what he had done, without me knowing it, he had just flattened the club a little bit for him. So I'm like going, you know, the guy's destroying the club. I just, you know, spent so much time cleaning up for him. And then, you know, he says, man, that's just perfect. And he says, uh, well, what are you doing this afternoon? And I'm like, well, you know, I am, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm working with my dad. He says, would you like to caddy? For me, and I'm like, and it was the very first senior event, so I got to caddy for Arnold Palmer in his very first senior event. So that was a pretty big day for me. Tell me a little bit about TK. Why is he our subject? Well, TK is somebody I've worked with for many years. He's a savant. I mean, the guy has a plus eight at Whisper Rock. Uh, guys like Phil is a plus four, Keimer's a plus four. Uh, Ogilvy's a plus three or four. He's a plus eight. I mean, so he's your robot. Yeah. I mean, TK, you can't have better for R&D. Yeah, because he's a robot that talks. <laughs> we look at all of our players. You know, guys like uh, Kenny Perry was, a, was one of our first users. He couldn't grab his ass with both hands. The next thing you know, he's winning golf tournaments at 48. He played the best golf of his career at 49. When he turned 50, he didn't even want to go to the senior tour because he was playing so well. But what we did is we took all of our players and got their world ranking when they started playing with our shafts, and then two, three, whatever the amount of time was later, and 100% a, a of them were better. And some of them were so much better, it was just a joke. Who's got KBS names of note right now that are on tour? Guys like Phil Mickelson, Ernie Els, Ricky Fowler, Justin Rose, Steve Stricker. I mean, this is totally honest and I'm not bragging. We're about nine years old now, eight years old now. The first two years, I was on tour every week because we were trying to create a brand. But now what I'm seeing happen, I'm seeing guys like Ricky and uh, DeChambeau's a perfect example. He's been playing the C-Taper lights for like three years now and that they were only invented four years ago. Uh, Phil had been playing my shafts for 19 years. I developed Project X with him specifically. We worked together and that shaft was, was developed specifically for him. Since its inception in 2008, Kim Braley's signature, or KBS, has rapidly become the fastest growing steel shaft brand in the industry. What do you want for yourself and for KBS? There's only one thing I want. I want to make the best golf shafts in the world, and that's all I want to do, period. I don't care if we're the biggest, I don't care if we're the smallest. I want to make the best golf shafts in the world, period. Don't put that on, the, I don't want that to be replete. Too late. Yeah. No, that, <laughs> don't do that one. Today, breaking par is at Cerulean Advanced Fitness and Wellness. These guys take a whole new approach on how to prepare for your next round of golf. We have professional golfer Chelsea Pozzola with us to get an inside look. Okay, what is this thing? <laughs> I am Fabrice Deschoux, the CEO of Cerulean. People ask us, what's Cerulean? Cerulean is all about cellular health. A lot of people are focused on taking care of their body at the physical level. We're here to help you take care of your body at the cellular level. So I think golf is one of the sports where people kind of overlook the, the need for recovery in between rounds and sessions. If you're not recovering properly, first of all, your performance is not going to be optimized. And secondly, it's going to lead to injury. Basically, what we can do here is not only prevent those injuries from happening, but if they do happen, get you back a lot faster and get you playing a lot better. Today we're going to be taking Chelsea through a number of our different modalities specific to the golf population. Then we're going to be going into our training on the Alter-G anti-gravity treadmill. From there we'll switch over to more to the recovery side. We'll get her in a whole body arctic cryotherapy. We'll follow that up with a localized arctic cryotherapy treatment where we can target more of a sport specific area. And then we'll go to the cellular repair and compression therapy to really optimize recovery. Why is fitness so important to you and so important for women that are getting into golf? I think any time when you're at a pro level, any way you can improve your game is taking a huge step forward. And what a lot of people don't realize is fitness is a huge part of golf. There's 
so many things that you can do to really further your body, which then furthers your golf game. We're going to be zipping her into the Alter G anti-gravity treadmill, creating a pressure differential to take up to 80% of the body weight off her legs. Josie, get out of there! <laughs> she gets so scared. <laughs> what we're going to be having you do today is lateral movement, so we're really working on that hip mobility. So this is very great for golfers. Kind of like training on the moon, yeah. we're creating a buoyancy effect, but instead of using water, we're using negative pressure. So does it feel like you're you're barely moving, or what? I feel like I'm moving my legs, but have no weight on them. This is how people like LeBron James warm up for a basketball game. So get a nice cardiovascular warm up, but you're not getting any leg fatigue. So you can do this all day. This has got to be one of the most famous things you guys do in here, oh, right? without a doubt. All right, Chelsea, you ready to try out whole body cryo? Oh, yeah, I'm All right, ready. let's go ahead and get you right in here. Okay, so we're gonna lift you up so your head and neck is still exposed to room air. You're still breathing normally. The rest of your body is gonna be being misted with negative 250 degree gaseous nitrogen. We're activating the thermoreceptors on the outer layer of the skin, telling the brain we're going into hypothermia. So in terms of athletic benefits, we just exercise, worked up a lot of lactic acid. That's normally followed by an inflammatory response that would leave you sore tomorrow. Well, we can almost completely negate that inflammatory response, so less soreness should just allow you to you know, train a little bit harder tomorrow or play a better round of golf tomorrow as well. So this is great for golfers for recovery, prevention of injury, as well as a number of other health benefits that'll keep you on the field playing better for longer. All right, let's go ahead and get you down here. Feel some better range of motion, feel a little bit looser, a little endorphin release going. Let's see the golf swing, let's see the golf swing. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Next we're gonna do the localized Arctic cryotherapy where we can use the same technology but just hit a sport specific pain. So that'll be good for my shoulders? It'll issues. be perfect, exactly. So we'll go ahead and get in there. So it's the same technology as we just had in there, but here we just target it to a more sport specific injury or pain. You're gonna be feeling real good after this. Shoulders feeling a lot looser, which is good for me. All right, Chelsea, you ready to move on to our next? We're gonna go set you up with some compression and cellular repair therapy. Go do it. Yeah, step into those holes there. This is so cool, I've never seen this. Yeah. All right, Chelsea, so what we have here is Normatec hip compression. So obviously as you golf, you use those hips quite a bit. They're gonna be a little sore. So here's gonna really help with your hip mobility. This here is a cellular repair therapy. What we're doing is carrying a chemical signal to your brain, kind of tricking into creating its own free radical antioxidant response. And it's just really gonna extend the longevity of your career so we can really keep you playing better for longer. That's awesome. Yeah. I might have started a new addiction. I think this is a really cool concept that not a lot of people would think about. Um, actually getting in the modalities and feeling how much they were adjusting my hips and feeling how good I feel now, I think it's so cool and I'm really excited to add it into my everyday routine. Love it. Yeah. All right guys, that's Cerulean and that's a way to take your golf game to the next level. I'm out of here, I'm gonna go fly the drone. So, uh, how often do you come here? <laughs> uh, it's my first time, but looking to make it a part of my regular routine. Where'd you get those pants? No, I bought them at my uh, local golf facility you know, next door. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a golf fan that lives in Arizona and you don't take advantage of all the opportunities that we have to get up close and personal with some of the best golfers in the world, beat it. You're not a golf fan. Guys, we have the Phoenix Open out here every year. We have the best female golfers in the world at the LPGA Founders Cup. We get to see the future stars of the PGA Tour at the Patriot All-America Invitational. And then every year, we get the legends of the game at the Charles Schwab Cup Championships. There's deer in the fairway. Guys, these are the legends. I'm talking Bernhard Langer, Jay Haas, Jesper Parnovic, Colin Montgomery, for the love of God. They're all out here, right in our backyard. I mean, anybody of note that you've been kind of keeping an eye on out here? I mean, we all love Jimenez, right? I mean, he's like, he's pretty awesome, a pretty good player. Miguel Angel Jimenez, yep. 
She said that so well. Let, let me have it one more time. Miguel Angel Jimenez. Name me one player in the field today. Paul Goidos. Right, he names the current leader. I like that. I like that. This is all in fun for them. They've earned their money. Mm -hmm. They're having fun now. As much as some people might say that these are the old guys, they like to have fun too. Who wins in a closest to the pin chip off between last year's champion Billy Andre and two time World Series champion Roger Clemens? I didn't even know Clemens was much of a golfer, but uh, Andre hasn't been playing all that well today, so I would, right now, I think the money would be on Clemens. Well, what if I told you this? Billy had to chip his ball, Roger got to throw his ball. <laughs> <laughs> what if they're both throwing a baseball 55 yards to the pin? Well, I guess that's a given, Roger. Roger that. Roger that. <laughs> Hit it in the hole. <laughs> oh, this is a. This is about. Uh, it might be just a shade longer from home plate to second base. Oh, that's in the hole. God oh, dang really. I'm gonna bring him to my level now. Here, that's you. I gotta throw this? Yeah, see where you can see, <laughs> see if you can make that check up. Oh, there's a baseball coming in. Oh, he's going for it. He's gonna run it. Oh, a little fast. All right, I'm gonna go up. Uh-oh. Look at this. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. I think we gotta give this one to Roger. Sorry, Billy. <laughs> A big thank you to Billy Andre and Roger Clements for having some fun with us. And a big congratulations to Paul Goidos, the 2016 Charles Schwab Cup champion. And of course, Bernhard Langer, the 2016 Charles Schwab Cup winner. The guy's automatic. And a big shout out to Tiffany Nelson, executive director. Her and her staff did an amazing job this year. Guys, from the legends to the future stars of the PGA Tour, it's the Patriot All-America Invitational at the Wigwam. The Patriot All-America is a top amateur event attracting Ping All-America golfers from across the United States and abroad. Held annually at the Wigwam in Litchfield Park, this year's tournament will be played December 29th through the 31st. See, what makes this tournament unique is that these guys play for more than just themselves or university. They play in honor of a fallen or severely wounded soldier by carrying a golf bag with the name, rank, branch, and story of a military member on it. The next time they're gonna watch some of these players, they're gonna be paying $100 a head or more to go watch them at the Phoenix Open or in the US Open or the British Open. Five years from now, we could be playing against each other on Ryder Cup teams or as partners on Ryder Cup teams or you know, walking down back nine at Augusta. These guys are good. Current PGA Tour stars who have played in the Patriot include Brooks Kepka. Patrick Rogers, Justin Thomas, Daniel Berger, and Bryson DeChambeau. The winner of this year's Patriot All-America Invitational will receive a sponsor exemption into the Web.com Tour's Air Capital Classic, giving one lucky golfer a chance to launch his professional career. Braden Thornberry from the University of Mississippi is the defending Patriot champ and will be back to defend his title against a field of 84 talented golfers. The Patriot All-America is free to attend, and it's your chance to see the golf stars of tomorrow. For more information, visit PatriotAllAmerica.com.